joy, I want us to welcome to the stage Apostle Philip. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A lot has been going on all through the conference. It's very important and pivotal for us to understand the definition of God anytime we gather. One of the greatest definitions of evil is to gather people and not give them something. And God is not a man that gives false hope. Even while he intends to reduce himself within the rank and file, of the council of El and he became part of the council of the Benai Elohim he became part of the representative of God he ensured that there was never a need for men to look for God as long as he was in the territory and anytime men look for reference for God he is always available to show them that God is real and God is alive one of the tragedies that we will have as a body of Christ and as a people it's when we are living in a time where men cannot find the reference of God and yet we call ourselves the sons of God according to the ordination of God he ensured that within the council of heaven there are things that God sit down together and they legislate but there are things that are given only to the sons of men to execute but there are others that are given privilege to be part of the council of the elders that they may be able to deliberate regarding the territory and sons are risen that they may be able to enforce the council of heaven do you know that you are part of a council in heaven and when the honorable within the council do nothing the earth suffer shipwreck the foundation of the earth become out of course because many do not know their ordination in god and their placement are right and they do not understand their job description as sons our job description as sons is not necessary to build a lot of congregation but one man can be a representative that God can be so proud and he can say, this is my beloved son among many sons of from whom I am well pleased. That would be the hard cry of a man that truly want to be a representative of God in the last time. It's going to be men that are not just only sons but sons upon which the heart of the father is pleased with. I want you to pray. I know you may look at yourself as a least among us. <laughs> Apostle just read. He said that every house functions by the grace that each joint supply. When we gather like this, one of the distinctive and functionality we must understand is the differences of grace that God released. And many more times, we may be out of alignment if somebody at the back there do not supply his own kind of grace. Because when we come to an atmosphere like this, one has a psalm, another has a hymn, another has a chant, another has a body. Then everyone you see that you thought was not represented was actually part of the assembly. Because in the assembly, everything is important. You are so important in the agenda of God. I don't care whatsoever is your past. A prostitute include herself among the lineage of Christ. Just because she was aligned and she saved a spy. Because of that, the Lord included her. It doesn't matter what you have done before now. I told you yesterday that all of these things we do, we are product of grace. It's a function of grace. And a man that does not understand that we labor and labor in vain. I want you to pray supply your own grace for us in the atmosphere so that the place can be so charged and aligned because alignment will require that a quorum is complete and each and every one is not wasting his time sometimes the number can make us out of alignment one can disalign us one can disalign us the bible said they were together but in one accord somehow it is impossible for the spirit of god to find expression if there is no unity of the spirit we may be disaligned in the flesh but can we align in the spirit one of the only way we can align in the spirit is when we supply our grace supply your grace to the atmosphere we need your own quarter Adonai 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 Oh Adonai 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 Oh Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. Oh 
Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. Oh Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. Oh Adonai, Adonai, Adonai. We are calling upon I am. We are calling upon the great one, the father of all spirits, the giver of life. He that sustains creation. He that put us in this position. He depends upon us. God is happy that with our sons that is well pleased. The joy of a father is what a son is. is. Not vagabonds, not rebels. But sounds that is busy. Adonai, Adonai. Oh, Adonai, Adonai. Adonai, Adonai. Adonai, Adonai. Adonai, Adonai. Adonai, Adonai. There are layers in the spirit. There are places in the spirit. There are dimensions. There are diversities of levels of operation. Sometimes what we need require of you is just to come up higher. Yes, you are in the spirit, but they say come up higher. Certain communication will require that you change a play, change a dimension. Adonai, 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 Hallelujah. We are pressed beyond time. And there are quite a little bit of build up I need to do. I believe that by now you have a high level of sensitivity in the spirit to be able to perceive the things communicated. The challenge is not the mystery that I share. It's how much you've been able to assimilate. Have you revisited your notes recently? And discover that there were many things that you wrote that actually you are deprived of their reality. And suddenly you understood now that you have gathered a lot of things, but they have not come to functionality. And that is why sometimes it is important that you ensure that you assimilate as much as you receive. I realize one of the mysteries of these agri fowls is that they eat more. While many other chickens are, are sleeping they are still eating and a man that eats more than you will grow more than you because the way of this operation is to ensure that you feed well and you feed much somehow people that will do more than you in this journey will either know more than you or pray more than you in either way it still speak about extra more that they were able to go the extra mile and to add up more because there are times when there will be no more oil other times there will be no more enough energy to take you further can we add up again you can have your seats so that i don't please can you help me appreciate my friend and brother apostle miracle i mean he did so much i i wonder what i should do but it's, it's hard when somebody has Establish a standard that you need to go high to climb. But we trust God to help. And I want you to appreciate the presence of Pastor. Seriously, it's a great honor and privilege to have people that have gone ahead of you. Sometimes when you have to preach or you have to speak, where great people are seated, it's a hard thing. And if they are not generous enough, they can shut down the valve of your utterance. 
so you come to sink and because energy seated suddenly you, <laughs> you find yourself out of alignment and we trust god to help us now we the theme of this convergence i think i didn't say anything about it but also i've been doing a lot regarding that glory climate one of the things about the climate is it gives definition to weather perspective climate gives definition to all the mysteries regarding weather how do you depict a weather is by the mystery of climate and one of the ways that you can understand the things that are available the reality within the glory when the glory of god come is when you understand the climate of the glory because the climate within the glory will give you an understanding of the the reality that lies within the glory and if a man is handicapped to understand the momentary definition that the climate give at the time he may not understand the atmosphere of the glory because in the glory everything become possible god is the one that does nothing except his glory is there anytime the glory of god is revealed upon the life of a man the man see the how much insufficient he is and how much more of god you will need because when the glory revealed holiness is approved and is seen and that is why the cherub and the seraphim works together because they are beings that understand the climatic functionality of the glory and the holiness of god so when others see the glory the others see the dimension of the holiness so as before they are done seeing the other dimension another is revealed again because as we continue to deplete to depict the climatic condition within the glory realm you begin to see other things that are beyond your level of fathoming then god seems to be to you a mystery but understanding the climate of the glory will help you demystify the mystery because the climate will give you enough variables enough numbers for you to be able to give definition to what is going on within the glory and that is why when the glory of god was shown to moses he began to define unto us the principle of creation and begin to write to us things that are four times before time began so we thought that that was the only thing that was available until the glory again was revealed to john the beloved and he began to write in the beginning again then we saw that men can actually have access within the glory and give definition if they understand the climatic functionality of the glory certain times the glory of god is around your life but because you cannot understand the climate that can depict it you may be lacking in understanding what the lord is doing with you and that is why we introduce to you some few of the challenges of a believer if you put those things within landscape you will discover that they are like the parameters that are important that if you check make them enough you will understand what the lord is doing with you we've discussed quite a number of them i don't know how to rush i will rush as fast as possible so that we can cover the remainder are about just six challenges that i've seen among believers of today we've discussed how that many people pray but they don't know the power of prayer we are done with that we also discuss spiritual alignment how that is important that when a man is not aligned with god it's impossible for you to understand where god is where he's at and what he's even doing with you i cannot touch on the dimension of the genuity of the love of god and the fear for god is part of the challenge how that many people do not genuinely love god or genuinely fear god and everything they do is within face value and they thought they define it as love because one of the first definitions of love is how much you are willing to give for that which you believe do you realize that we don't even have a life of our own because a man has given his our life has already been exchanged yes god may not have called us to die for him we are to live for him but if our living for him we demand that we die so be it that's the life of witnesses a witness doesn't care if he die because the bible said that the blood of the martyr actually is the seed how do you think jesus appeared to most of these Boko and all these guys sometimes as one go down many germinate again because except the corn of the wheat fall to the ground and die it will always abide alone if you read the book of revelation the bible talk about certain witnesses that we are crying how long will you oh god come and judge them that have done us this he said no there is a number of people that need to be persecuted and to be killed for the sake of this when the number is completed there's going to be a massive harvest that we come 
sometimes one of the only way that you can include others into this inheritance there must be a shedding of blood somehow without the shedding of blood there will never be a remission of sin and there are times when the Lord will demand that you make sacrifice of your own blood okay one of the challenges that I want to discuss today is simple one of the first challenge for today is growing in impartation many believers may not be lacking in impartation to say if you have met an average believer he has met all the great men you can ever think of in Nigeria and beyond he has done all he could they lay hands, they lay legs, they did everything but somehow when he returned back he became either more worse than when he went to or he cannot see the commensurate functionality of the impartation and sometimes you begin to wonder is it that the person that released the impartation to him did something wrong no sometimes nothing may be wrong with the person everything may be wrong with the receiver because every impartation come to you as a seed it is required of you to create a conducive environment for the impartation to grow and that is why certain times when you have done that mistake you are running out you wake up other days and find yourself functioning in certain dimensions that you have no understanding of and you wonder am i the one that do this thing actually you switch into them but you can consciously go in impartation because impartation has always been the transfer of spirit the transfer of possibilities the transfer of abilities the transfer of mantle mandates but many more times after a transfer is done it will require it's just like an application when i transfer it for you to require for you to install it and i don't know if your phone has the capacity within the android version to be able to contain the application there are certain games that will not play in certain kind of um laptop they will tell you you need call something you may require to upgrade the laptop to play that kind of game many more times yes without contradiction the lesser is blessed by the greater but the greater the lesser must receive the capacity to be able to contain that with the greater is communicating because when you lack capacity impartation becomes useless many people have received a lot of impartation it has pushed them to warfare but it has not released the capacity and the grace for them to be able to contain the level of operation some of them have wandered out of astral realm of operation because of the impartation they receive every impartation transfer a kind of spirit to you if i release the spirit that visit me at night on daily basis to you they are supposed to establish a throne of government around you you cannot have a normal life but if you don't know how to relate with them the same way i relate with them how do you intend to survive you will behave like a madman sometimes because when they are telling you this you will not understand their language of communication many of you have received impartation and just keep appearing to you at night they keep talking but you are not hearing why you don't understand the capacity you don't have the required grace to ensure that that impartation is preserved and that is how if you have not go and learn how that you can preserve it it will take time the impartation will go away because the spirit of god will never strive with men for that long that's why i tell people before you meet any man to pray for you pray first build capacity go again build capacity go again build so that when if god appear here now and release his dose upon us the level that apostle contain will be different from the level you contain the level that this all content it will be different according to your capacity so a man that has little capacity no matter what you pour upon the person it will still go back with little for he that have big capacity sometimes when you come to a meeting when the hunger of the people is so deep you find yourself going deeper into revelation deeper into truth why because deep will always call on to deep sometimes you go for deep impartation and you don't have depth in you that's why you leave those places and you go back with the same kind of thing at all one of the ways that you can assess impartation is simple number one is true honor many more times many people don't honor a man they just go to want to collect impartation how is that possible an impartation that you receive from a man that you don't honor will never go as you are living there is going away 
a man you honor if he release an impartation upon you it's very easy for you to go because the heart posture of honor will ensure that the impartation is sustained many of you don't honor certain men you talk against them you go out you talk against miracle when people are talking against him you join them and talk like, how do you expect to go in the level of the grace that god has given unto you is it possible and that is why no matter how you pray for you those things will remain there because there is no attitude of honor impartation become useless when there is no honor and that is why you don't just impart anybody no not everybody is given the right and the privilege to come into the commonwealth of that which you have contained that is why many people are very close to many ministers and they are not blessed although they have done everything they slept together with them in the same bed and one of the easiest way you can receive impartation is by service let me tell you any man you serve he will definitely communicate the same level of possibility in your life it's natural that service is greatness no one that jesus said whosoever that want to be great in this kingdom was learn the way of service we are anointed as men to serve not to be served that is the basic reason why the anointing came upon people it's for service you are serving and ministering to the people as you minister to the lord the lord serve them because there are ministry spirit there are, you see they come to measure your level of your service actually I get what I'm saying. People that measure to see what you are doing in God, it may not be us. You know, we judge by the parameters of the flesh. So I can see somebody that is, ah, yeah, he may have just come out from either fornicating. So I will say, this guy is more spiritual. Because I see him roar. And sometimes he's the one that gives more. When you want to put off in the booth 1,000. So I will see it. So how this guy loves the king. And when the Lord said, the Lord will now discover that actually the guy is a fornicator. He's a liar. He's a thief. I get what I'm saying. That. So many more than what check our level of compliance to the spirit may not actually be what we are thinking. So with that, now you now realize that one of the easiest way to assess impartation is through service. Genuine heartfelt service. Anytime you serve a man naturally, I assure you, every grace of the commission works on even if the man costs you to never walk if you have served him appropriately service will always create way one of the ways that you can also go in impartation is to understand the grace that work within the cycle of the impartation many of you have been taught works you have not been taught grace let me tell you whether you like it or not paul is the one that said that the grace of god that was upon peter to make him to be an apostle unto the jews is the same grace that is at work with me but to make me an apostle unto the gentiles the diversities of the operations of god ensure that there are differences of graces given unto men and many men communicate their own impartation to the degree of the level of their own grace When you come under a grace, come under a commission in such as this, you must understand the working of the grace of God within this commission. And for you to go in the impartation that flow within this kind of region and realm of operation, you must begin to understand the language of communication of this place, understand the operation of the spirit, because the spirit of God will operate uniquely in this place like this. And that is why you can go to other places, you can't behave like this in those places, because the grace within that place may not permit you to behave like that. And you can be here and you may be under this grace and you don't try to behave like that you may receive impartation here and not go others may be advancing because they flow with the grace because god deals with us individually according to the differences of graces and that is why god can still move in deeper life with with or without their doctrine whether it's right or it's wrong he will move in redeem will move in living faith move in terribly and self it doesn't matter as long as you understand the grace of commission within the location Every impartation within a region work according to the grace that God released. When you come within an, within an impartation, if you receive an impartation from Elijah, you must understand that the way of your life may actually be maybe mountain region outside of the bush and all those kind of things. If John the Baptist chooses to remain within the city, I guarantee you, but eventually you may not understand the way that that thing works. Every impartation has a kind of schooling, 
has a kind of teaching that you must yield to it and submit to it if you must grow in it because the same man that released the impartation released the same spirit that worked with him in that kind of operation and that is why within every tribe in Israel they have distinctive kind of characteristics and they are giving the order not to go beyond that why because they have an impartation they need to, pres to preserve they have a heritage they have to preserve you must understand the working of the grace within the commission is that you receive the impartation if you don't understand that it will be almost impossible for you to actually go in that impartation one of the ways you can go in impartation is to learn to respond to spontaneous body many of you never respond to body until when you come to a place of prayer like this and many more times God beckons upon you even in your house beckons upon you in your class when you are moving upon in the road God beckons upon you but you never respond to those bodies many of the impartation is if i told you they are like seed bodies will create the required atmosphere and the required energy for you to be able to travel them into bed no wonder the bible says, as soon as zion travel you shall give birth zion is pregnant with seed of impartation and possibilities but until zion begin to travel according to times and seasons those impartation will still remain locked many of you pray but when prayer is demanded you don't pray there are seasons and time when prayer will be demanded upon your life. Those times you can literally send the grace of God to pray. There are times when you feel the grace to pray, to pray. Another person may feel the grace to fast. Let the person fast. You pray. Eat very well, but pray more. When the grace comes for you to study, forget everything and study. You can pray religiously with others. Let me tell you. There are, you know me as a man that pray, but there are seasons I know I was praying that I know the prayer, the strength of it was not the really the prayer. When you understand the season and the timings of God, you will understand where the grace of God is for you at the moment, at the season. Because anytime the grace of God is upon something, when the Lord put his hand upon something at the time, he know the reason why he ensured that to happen. It's because there is something you need to actualize in the spirit. And it will require you to respond to that body. There are times when you receive grace to finish two books within a day. There was a time that I keep reading every day. I can read for 20 hours every day. And within those times, I find myself in it. I discovered that all these books we think that they are too big. They are not big. It's because you used to give them one hour in a day. If you sit down for 20 hours, you finish a book. When the grace was there, I was not sleeping. I was finishing it. And there are other times that the grace was there for me to pray. I find myself praying. Even when people stop praying, I'm still praying. There are other times the grace is there to fast. Sometimes I can fast a whole session, not semester. There are certain demands that will come as a body for you to grow the impartation you receive. And every man that sustains a kind of grace has a kind of impartation. When he releases that kind of impartation, the same discipline that ensures that that impartation is preserved will come upon you. Suddenly you find yourself behaving somehow. That is the way. That is what is within the clan of the impartation you receive. But many of you do not know how to respond to that. Hope I'm making sense. We are praised beyond measure. You must also learn how to yield to the spirit of the tribe of the impartation. There are places where you go to, you flow naturally. If you remain there for long, you will grow faster. Have you had a bad long atmosphere? That when you come here, eh, you do well. You go there, attack. <laughs> you don't, there are places that sap impartation. They will take it away. Bible says the thief come and not but to steal, kill and destroy. One of the things the devil kill and sin and destroy it may not be your money. It's impartation and ordination of God. So when you come, when those things are communicated to you as you leave, he goes and he takes it away. When you don't yield to the same spirit in the lineage of the tribe of the impartation, you may never go. If you belong to a prophetic tribe, when you yield to them, there are people that when you listen to, you know they speak to you, they elevate you in the spirit. There are others you just listen to, just to maybe write something. That is a tribe you belong, my brothers. Many more times, one of the easiest access ways is to learn to yield to that same spirit. 
you don't have to see the people in the flesh i have met a lot of people in the spirit but the same time all of you guys belong i can't tell you how many times dear moody appeared to me watch money appear to me i can't tell you how many times i was there together with these guys to eat food and sometimes they come and they give you scrolls all the time they come and they share bodies sometimes they come and they take you in the spirit to those times where they were before i don't know about you but when i begin to read about men when i meet the people that are within my tribe i join it together with them and many more times when you join what happens they communicate the same kind of spirit with you you also have to learn how to understand the language of the impactation there are languages that are common among a kind of cycle of impactation language in the spirit language in the physical you can see certain people within certain cycle i don't know where chris devan gets this kind of impactation but those guys can be in church and joke and joke and joke and joke and joke and god is flowing we can be here with chris devan devan will call you and say you got a big head and you continue many people within the same line or tribe of impartation behave alike you may go and try it and everybody says, what kind of proud and arrogant person is this within their own type of clan they function normally like that there are languages in the spirit that function within a kind of clan when you are within a prophetic clan such as you know we never know about porters and all of this until somebody begin to introduce them we never know about certain kind of realm of operation until somebody begin to talk certain things that we are not common when the man begin to talk they may begin to wonder what this guy say <laughs> but you see, these are languages within a tribe and you must learn to fellowship with the word and with the spirit together with the brethren the bible speak about not neglecting the gathering of the brethren sometimes as you are like this suddenly there is a diffusion of graces impactations are activated bible speak in the book of john how that they begin to speak about that which they have seen that which they have handled that which they have taught about the word of life about the impartation that jesus communicated to them he said the same thing that they have seen that's what they are communicating to us but you move forward to let us understand that they are communicating this also that our fellowship will be complete impartation is by voter in the journey of a believer somehow when a man is about to be elevated to a new level what the lord do he orchestrate a kind of impartation every encounter releases an impartation upon you what you receive after an encounter is an impartation without impartation we become weak and beggarly people when the lord releases an impartation a very very feeble man become a strong man because the possibilities and the potentials of the spirit are transferred impartation establishes a kind of highway in the spirit it establishes a kind of communication it has a way of realigning you Your spiritual growth is actually a sum total of the impartation and the encounter you have in season and out of season. A man deprived of impartation will be lacking in understanding. Because many more times when spirit appear to you, what they do is they communicate to you the burden of the Lord through an impartation. 